Hi, hopefuls. Thanks so much for coming back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing great. I'm doing wonderful. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Hope. And here on My Life Full of Hope, I do um, several different types of videos, such as grocery hauls or haul uh, decor hauls. Um, sometimes, you know, some family uh, kid hauls. I know back to school is coming up. But I also do celebrations and tablescapes and home decorating. And lately, or for a while, I have been doing emergency preparedness. So I love or enjoy emergency preparedness because I just love being prepared for my family, y'all. I love being prepared for my family and not worrying about not having it, um, especially when you don't have the funds to have it. Um, so, I'm with this video, y'all, I'm not going to do anything. So, welcome. <laughs> so, with this video, I'm not going to do anything special. I wanted to go ahead and do it because I wanted you guys um, that requested it to get some ideas and some information so i'm gonna try to kill three birds with one stone in this video and not make it super long so recently i got the question um i can't remember i'm gonna see if i can search my comments the name but she's been on the channel at least four years so thank you for subscribing or i can see that you're subscribed and so she said hope um how do you prepare non-food for emergency preparedness non-food without spending hundreds of dollars so the quick answer to that is well it's two answers dollar tree is your friend dollar tree is your friend you'd be surprised what's at the dollar tree even at walmart that's a little bit less than dollar tree um really it's three answers to this you're gonna have to budget you're gonna have to take five even if you only have five dollars you're gonna have to take twenty dollars you have to save that up i saw where um lisa i can't remember the name of her channel um i was scrolling i saw the thumbnail i haven't watched the video yet where she saved five dollars um i think for her generator so that was definitely one of the things that i was going to say if you only have five a dollar um twenty dollars Every week in your pay period, either put it to the side or take that $20, take that $5 and buy some non-emergency, non-food emergency preps, y'all. And Dollar Tree is your friend. You'd be surprised. So you're looking at this basket because um, I just got up not too long ago. <laughs> so I'm not turning the camera around. And... Um, this basket is like, I think all things that I got from the Dollar Tree. If not, it was from Walmart. And I believe it was all from the Dollar Tree, y'all. So, this basket is up in my cabinet away from Josiah. Josiah's my seven-year-old. And so, he won't reach it or get curious or anything. So, sometimes what I do, and when I first started, I would take $20. And I would say, I'm going to buy lanterns. Especially, not lanterns, um, lighters. This is from the Dollar Tree. The batteries from Dollar Tree. And I'll get several things. And I will also take you over here and look at these candles. I would not get a whole... I mean, this is just me at the moment. I wouldn't get a whole lot at one time. Simply because um, it's like glass with the candles. Or, you know, you just... You may go in there and you're going in there for a craft project or a birthday. And you don't plan on spending $20 on emergency preps that particular day and twenty dollars on fall decor or christmas and or um birthday you see what i'm saying y'all so just do a little bit at a time it adds up really quickly so i have these big boxes of matches they have them over there in the kitchen section and they also have like these little boxes of matches too so i think i had these loose somewhere and you will be surprised what's at the Dollar Tree. They have flashlights. They're not the best of quality, but something is better than nothing. Just like the batteries. They may not last forever, but my boys use them in the video game sometimes. And I have to hide them. So it's something better than nothing. Um, also, you want to learn how to coupon. 
that is another thing that can really help you with your emergency um, non-food preps and then over here are the candles so some I picked up last year some um, I need to dust over here and put these up um, some or that I picked up like two at a time three at a time so I have two four six eight ten um, that's still not that much because when I was growing up uh, I can't remember which hurricane it was was it Fran and we were out of power for a whole week and we had to use what we had because when people found out that the power wasn't coming back on it you know stuff flew off the shelves so thankfully my my not my my daddy was in the he was a police officer for Raleigh so he could go in and out of the store um freely or he had to go to work so he was able to go into stores when or or get connections with other people when they restocked. So um, a lot of stuff we were able to get because of that. But at first it was a struggle to get ice. It was a struggle to get um, the lantern oil and candles and matches and batteries and stuff because everybody needed them. So Dollar Tree has these little tea lights, y'all. You can use these as well. You can pick up some of these. I think I have some more. If not, I need to get some more. Um, I'm about to clean this whole thing out because it has their school supplies in one section. And then I have some like some home decor and some more different types of candles in here. Um, these candles come from the Dollar Tree. I use them for decorations. Um, these over here. I can't remember if these do or not, but there are some really good um, candles and you want to get some unscented candle candles you don't want to necessarily it's I mean something's better than nothing so if you have bath and body works and the lights went out then that's you know you have that but you know you don't want to smell that all day every day so we'll try to get some unscented candles and I just got these the pillar plain white ones um yeah from Dollar Tree so I'm kind of going off the cuff, y'all, and I have a checklist, a free downloadable checklist of non-food stuff that you can get far as your preps. So you go take that to Walmart, take that to Dollar Tree and see what you can get, um, mark it off. Um, put a little bit of money to the side each time you get paid or each time you get some money. I know that child tax credit is coming up. I know people may be using it for their children, um, back to school stuff. But the next time, take some of that and buy something for your preps. Um, I... So let me show you what I got over here. I don't want to get sidetracked. So, so let's say you only have a dollar or a couple of dollars to get a flashlight from the Dollar Tree. So when you have a little bit more money, I think this pack of batteries was $9.98 or something. So get you a pack of batteries. Um, if you think you may need some clothespins, I got this. I'm glad I did have it because our dryer went out, let's see, a couple weeks ago. So we got a brand new dryer. It's a little bit dusty. Um, so clothespins will be helpful for that reason. And then also maybe if you need to hang your potatoes or your onions, get you some of these pantyhose. I got these from the Dollar Tree. You can hang them and separate them with the clothespins or, of course, hold hang up your clothes with the clothes pins um this i already had i didn't get this from dollar tree i think i got it from walmart or somewhere and this came in handy and the beginning of the summer or midsummer uh we hung our clothes up outside so um because our dryer went out so that's what we did so this is something that i didn't toss it i kept it you know even though i have a new dryer um let me see if i can show you guys this stuff over here Okay, y'all, so I pulled out some things from the, um, not garage, from my laundry room that I have over there on the other side. So I pulled these out a long time ago, these LED collapsible lanterns, and I showed them in the video. I got these off of Amazon. So I believe these were like $9. So Amazon is your friend too. So let's say you only have $20 or $10 or 12 you know that you want to spend this week on preps 
or this two weeks on preps then create you a prep list in on Amazon that's what I did and then periodically I go back and I'll check usually it's when I see someone's video when it pops up and I'm like okay I need to go get that I need to do that part of um to add to my preps so I think this was like nine dollars it's more safer I think people use it for camping so I'm not sure let's see I'm doing this with one hand I'm not sure what they look like in stock but that is really bright I probably need to get another one so at least everyone will just about have one so those are super safe um, I think you guys told me about that um, I did get some of these oil lanterns. We use these when the hur hur <clears throat> sorry y'all. We use these for the hurricane years ago, and but you guys were saying you have to watch, you know, the safety of these. But I did get two of these because I do know they. I might have two or three of these. I know that these really brighten up the room. Okay, I got the an oil as well outside, and I got these from Walmart. So just you know get a little bit at a time when you can this is a flashlight we have forever and i don't know why i can't get it to screw back on i'll see if i can get jason to screw it back on and it's really super bright because i remember when the lights went out in here one time the first time here and it just got pitch dark you couldn't see down the steps i mean it was i wasn't used to having i was just used to a smaller house and the lights going out and so we had this so you may need two of these like one by your bed and one somewhere else. So I think I unscrewed this to see if I had a battery. And we finally got a battery because we had this one for so long. So make sure you have a, a big volt extra battery for that. Okay, so recently I did share these. And I got most of this from Walmart or Aldi. So also check Aldi. Check your stores like Dollar General. Check your stores like Roses. Roses has like um, stuff. I miss Roses. They... Turn our roses to a Planet Fitness, but um, I they have a lot of things in there that you can use for as preps or different things. Kind of, um, I wouldn't say old fashioned, but that's why I like roses. You know, old school, I should say. So um, let's see. Aldi had these not too long ago, and I need to get some more. The three in one fan. I know one day I felt like I was having hot flashes, and Mama has a battery powered one so her fan um, saved me that day so i think those were like 5.99 at aldi they still may have some when i last went they had them some of these emergency ponchos i have not made us a bug out bag i have the bags i have some things and i'm sure i have like some coupon stuff that i can add to it so i just need to do it um these here were less than a dollar um i know who my husband saw this y'all he was like where are we going camping or something like that? But even in the summertime with these emergency ponchos, you should have one in your car. And especially in the summertime when you're going to amusement parks and you're in Florida somewhere and it just starts pouring out rain, starts pouring down rain out of nowhere. So I'm, you know, he say little smart comments. Sometimes he dead serious, but you know, just let your spouse know the importance or your family member know the importance of being prepared that you want to be prepared and you know they may tease you they may not they may not say anything just do what you got to do y'all okay um i got some of these hand warmers i didn't have any of these so i need to get a few more of these and then i got some of this um chili mini wrap so just get a little bit at a time like this here it's good to have but you may not necessarily um need it you can just you put a whole roll of toilet paper in your um in your bug out bag or in an emergency preparedness kit so don't feel like you have to have that just open up a what's the smallest tissue they have angel saw open up one of those put in a ziploc bag and put it in your bag okay um the bleed stop i did get this um, I know some people were talking about super glue or something. Um, was it super glue to stop a bleed or something? But I never, never um, done that. And then the emergency blanket. I'll probably need to get another one of these and put this in the car. 
Also, you guys told me a while back about these lanterns or these solar lights. I'm sorry. These are from the Dollar Tree. So this is the time that they have these solar lights. And so grab these. Um, you probably want to make sure they're charged, but they're good if the lights go out. So I have several of those um, stashed away. So just take, again, a little bit of money, put it to the side. If you, if you don't put the money or don't get a little bit at a time, then it's going to be hundreds of dollars. It may end up being hundreds of dollars in the end, but just get a little bit of what you can at a time. Let me see if I can take you guys outside. I'm trying to figure out my lighting because I messed up my settings on this um, camera. Hold on. Okay, guys. So, again, in this video, I wanted to kill three birds with one stone. And so, I also had a question about my non-food emergency preps they wanted to know so again check out that checklist because it has everything on there um everything on there that i could think of and you can download it for free that i could think of that you would need okay so up here at the top this was something i kept putting off over and over again and it was a gasoline so that's empty so i need to fill it up and once i fill it up i won't have it up there on the shelf um i did want to get more water but i may just have to get a water filter um these water jugs here a water filter because water takes up a lot of space a lot of space um some preppers they're really you know they say get their tools um, or prepared, emergency prepared people. Have, make sure you have your tools. We just came out here and we cleaned out our garage. So now we can get our hands or know where everything is. Um, so also they'll say make sure you have your things for your, your items for your cars. I know sometimes Dollar Tree, not Dollar Tree, Aldi will have gadgets for your cars. Like recently Jason's tire was kind of flat a little bit. So... I should have got that automatic pump thing. Y'all, they charge $2 for some air um, to pump up your tire. So just keep a lookout on that. Shop your sales and look, shop your sales and just keep your eye open for those things that may go on sale. Um, you may want to also create a sinking fund um, in a way that's just, you know, putting money to the side every time you get paid so that you can have those things. So I have our lamp oil here, I only have one. And then we were out here working, so I left the off, but you may need this or a smaller bottle um, in your emergency preparedness. I had some butane, I had to order this one off of Amazon and some propane. So at first, I only got one little one, I went back and I got a two pack, and I may go back and get another one um, as well. Then the Mr. Heater, I have the Mr. Heater Buddy, and I want to get another one, maybe a larger one, especially after seeing what happened in Texas, um, and this works with propane. Um, I also need to remember to get one for my mom or my her to get one. So another emergency preparedness, though this is like for really if you got electricity, but if you have a generator, so our AC... We have two units, um, has went out twice upstairs, and I think last summer it went out. So my mom, hers went out, and this was her AC that she purchased, and we put this one in our room. So we were able to tolerate the heat for a little while till we got somebody to fix it because we had this. My mom doesn't have um, storage for it, so we just kept it. So I think everyone should have some sort of um ac now we had the other kind that has you know the kind that sits on the floor we had that and i think the ac went out at my grandfather's house so my uncle we gave that to him before but this worked out well because we was able to use my mom's even though we gave ours away so i think having a heater and an ac um if you are in a house or you know your landlord can't come and pick uh, fix it right then and that's what you should have also um, I can't remember what book I was reading let's see if I can make this lighter I forgot what book I was reading y'all I can't think of the book right now 
but you should have several sources of ways to cook so that's why I have the um, propane and the butane now I don't have a propane camping stove but I do have a butane stove and it's in the closet in the um, in the laundry room I just remember so I have a charcoal grill we have a regular grill we use that one all the time so that's a little one I think this one was like 20 to 24 dollars at Walmart so take a little bit at a time and buy what you need I will start with candles matches um, candles lanterns not lanterns candles lighters matches first then I will get water Dollar Tree has water as well but um, I know Walmart does but lately when I go to Walmart they don't have any water so anyway get you some charcoal sometimes sometimes it just depends that's why you should be a dedicated coupon not couponer a dedicated shopper to Dollar Tree I think one year they had little bags of charcoal um, some lighter fluid down there we have some water um, we have some water over here uh oh and then we have our um, generator so we just got this generator and so I need to open it up and see what comes actually in it and after spending several hundreds of dollars on a generator I guess let me stand back so you guys can see what kind if you didn't see that video um, I don't watch too many emergency preparedness videos like I used to but I do know um, is it lead farmer He's always talking about the solar generators and I heard Lisa talk about it recently and I was like, man, I should have got a solar one. So, but we got this one. This one runs on propane and gasoline. So it's the Duromax next generation. Y'all see. So I'm going to open it up probably today and get the user manual out after spending hundreds of dollars. That's what I was going to say. Um, I had I was watching the video and he was saying what you need to get you need to make sure you have some oil so next time I go to Walmart I need to make sure I get some generator oil or Lowe's I need to get that yellow cord and then I need to make sure I'm able to have some kind of way to hook it up because it's pointless if you don't if you have a generator and you don't have everything that you need but that yellow cord if it doesn't come with this is a hundred dollars y'all so I'm like ugh, something else something else to buy so is you just have to put it to the side y'all um, also this is oil, absor oil absorber and I thought it was salt so that's another thing like if you live somewhere where um, you live somewhere where it is um, icy or it gets cold and you need some salt make sure you have some salt um, to put down so you can at least get out the house um, we do have a space heater um, I don't really know if that's emergency prep but I guess that's kind of like if you have an AC and you have a generator or a solar generator at least you have um, and something goes out then you have a heater so really that heater is for out here and this fan is for out here. Okay, on the camera it looks super untidy, but we somewhat organized ourselves. So this is another shelf of like gardening items. I didn't realize my husband had a tackle box. So that's something that I need to purchase is a fishing rod. I know I saw Granny Karma. She talked about the fishing rod. It's been sitting in my prep Amazon shopping cart forever. So I'm gonna take you guys out and show you my garden again it now it looks like it's dying but um i didn't have the time to work on it and i'll show you that's an update so that this is like three different videos in one and yeah so make sure you have your gardening gardening supplies if you want to try it and i definitely want to go a little bit harder next year with gardening i just got unmotivated and then i'm currently working on something and I didn't have the time y'all but I have my stuff here for next year for some of the things these here I'm going to take in the house and I'm going to do my little herb garden with the thing I bought from Aldi so my stuff can grow in the house 
but if you have seeds um, now is the time to purchase your seed seeds especially if you don't know how shipping is going to be and stuff these are empty so I kept these for reference but you want to put them in a ziplock bag and put them in the freezer so that's what I did um, and they you guys told me to do that and they worked so let me close my garage door okay y'all so I've been meaning to bring y'all out here way before now so it was lush and green but now it's dying <laughs> so it's dying and it's overcrowded y'all y'all told me from the get go but I was busy and I did not I did not separate it I brought the tubs out here because it killed my grass right here to punch or put the holes in them for water drainage um, so I can take each thing and separate it but I should just did it from the get-go um, these were not the best of quality when I got it um, so I shouldn't even got them I shouldn't even never got it um, I probably should have called their customer service because usually Audi has good customer service but anyway y'all I'm going to be ready to try again next year. Um, I just overcrowded it. And um, these here, I wanted to show you guys, but now they're dead. But, um, let's see. Some Most of these were like seedlings, but these over here were not seedlings. I just put them straight in the soil, and they grew, and they flourished. And I was like, oh, I didn't have to do that from seedlings. So... I'm still working on it. I'm still <laughs> still learning y'all, but I know I overcrowded it. So I'm gonna get this stuff up off the ground so that I won't keep continuing to kill my grass and throw this stuff away. Um, also, so these are some of the seeds that I was going to use this year. And so I put them in a Ziploc bag that I was still gonna grow. Put them in a Ziploc bag and put them in the freezer. This is a freezer Ziploc bag. Okay, so lastly, I'm gonna talk about is protecting yourself. So I know I mainly have women watching. I do know I have some few men watching as well, but make sure you have things to protect yourself as well. Um, just in general, because of how the times we're living in, and sometimes you don't wanna even go there and think that way, but you should have something something um i think my brother mentioned years ago about my mom having a bat and i was like i need to get one and i finally my son got me one for christmas a bat so for christmas i got my mom this christmas a taser and this was like twenty dollars at walmart i probably need to get maybe two more or one more uh one that i have in the house and one in my car so um a taser so i know this is not dollar tree or anything but make sure you put some money to the side twenty dollars we spend that going out to eat or something or twenty four dollars for a taser also if it's someone in your family that uh has a a i i'm gonna put it across the screen because i don't know if they're gonna flag this or not um that's able to take the core the the handgun uh, course or the weapon course y'all so I don't normally make these type of videos so I don't know what 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 will happen so just make sure you have someone in your family that can teach you or you feel comfortable taking it um, my husband and I we went our anniversary for the first time last year and he taught me how to shoot so with and we went to the range so you can pay as you go and i think you can do like a yearly membership or something like that so just find someone in your family or maybe even if you don't have someone in your family they have classes they have concealed to carry classes that you can feel comfortable learning how to shoot so um he was a great teacher my husband because my dad can teach me too but he was the great teacher jason had to learn how to um shoot a rifle and a gun because of the position he had before in the nighttime and in the daytime so jason was awesome um teaching me that and i felt comfortable um so a bat a taser um a security system 
of course, we're going to put all our trust in God, but he also gives us wisdom as well. So, um, I know we have CPI. I had CPI for years. It may be a little bit more expensive for some people, but I, we had it for years and I love CPI because of their presentation and um, how their whole security system and they also have a backup but you know just do what's best for you and your family and I'm gonna wrap this up y'all I think let's see what else I wanted to mention okay guys so I'm going to add this to this video really super quick because it's a little bit longer um, I'm editing and I also wanted to add this which is Ephesians 6 and 11. So we need to put on the whole armor of God so we may be able to withstand the wiles of the devil. Um, I have been wanting to mention this for a while and watching the videos um again like i said if you watch all the time you heard me say that i was i was a little stuck with prepping because i felt like well what is the point this and this and this is going to happen why do i need to reach for my goals why do i need to do this people need to be concerned about what's going on around them and i was stuck and then I heard several sermons, um, Bishop Jakes, T.D. Jakes, and some other people, and they talked about, you know, how people were, may feel stuck, and I just really felt like that was really um, for me. You know, sometimes you hear a sermon or a word, and it's not necessarily for you, it may be for someone else. So, um, again, we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, and I think um, against rulers of darkness and principalities and sometimes when we are in our flesh or sometimes we are um maybe still in the world we don't see things in a spiritual standpoint that that person is doing those things or um it's the enemy using the devil using them not necessarily them themselves and we tend to forget that i know i forgot this forgot this earlier this week um with a certain situation so we have to put on the whole armor of god which is his word and get into his word and god is our true covering and protection and um i've been wanting to mention this and i was watching sunshine survival living i may have her channel um incorrectly but i'll put it across the screen and she mentioned this and i loved it so much i was watching on tv so i didn't comment and she is absolutely right. I will be watching. I had to snap out of watching the prepping video. So when I made that post um, on the community tab. And when I did that, I had to ask my son, <laughs> was that a little harsh? Because I didn't want to come off um, harsh. But I kind of want to talk like, I guess like, um, um, what a with i guess like big mama would talk and just tell you guys don't get stuck don't get stuck get your stuff move on um keep moving on in this life if that's what your channel about and you're passionate about then do it but don't keep don't let it get you stuck just get your stuff and keep moving um so the ultimate protection is god's armor he's getting into his word so that you know how to fall on your knees and pray for his protection constantly daily um that is truly the um armor of god um that we need in this time so get into god's word um get a prayer life if you don't know how to pray there's tons of books the fervent prayer out here how to teach you how to pray um Thank him, ask for forgiveness for your sins um, and your request. And sometimes you can go to him and you don't, it doesn't even have to be any request. Just thank him and ask him for forgiveness um, in your heart. I'm sure it's something else just as I listen to YouTube, y'all. I'm sure it's something else, but I know one thing we recently got was a ring doorbell. And for some reason, I felt like that when someone rung the doorbell that I had to come to the door years ago. Not, well, 
for yeah for years and then just the past two years i stopped coming to the door so now i have a ring doorbell finally installed i don't i don't go to that door <laughs> i see who at the door and i just let them because i had to realize this is my house this is our house so i don't have to answer the door I don't know who's at the door. Even if they're selling something, I don't have to answer the door. And then it has a speaker. So I know everybody may have, a, some people may have an apartment and may not be able to have a ring doorbell. But if you have a home, you can see when you're not here, when you're there, when someone comes up to the door, it records if someone turned around in the yard. So that's something that's, um, that's from Amazon and that's worth the money of investing in um, to get it. So, I hope this video was helpful, y'all. I didn't do it fancy or anything because I knew I was going to procrastinate in doing it. But I do really need to get going with um, and start procrastinating with the bug out bags. Um, just scanning our documents or taking pictures of our documents and, you know, those important birth certificates and stuff like that. And, yeah. And also, y'all, of your prep, sometimes I get little trolls um, on the channel. And even your food presses, they're like, what if you got all that stuff? And da -da 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 -da. take pictures of your stuff. Take pictures. People take pictures of everything these days. All these selfies. Take pictures of your property, of your stuff. And that's why you have, that's why you have home insurance or you have apartment insurance. And then check your policies if you're in a flood prone area. You can, I think, look that up too. Sometimes when you buy your house, they'll tell you at the beginning, but you never know these days. You know, see if you have flood insurance, if you can add on to the policy, because usually that's separate. So that's why you have home insurance and for different things that may come up or may happen. And you just take pictures, go through your house, take pictures of your preps, take pictures of your emergency non-food preps and your stuff that you purchase in your home or take a video so you can remember. There's no way you can remember everything you have in your home because you'll forget. So anyway, y'all, I'll let you go. All right. Bye.